Hey, good afternoon or good evening. This is CapTech here bringing you another video on getting back to basics. So, I know that I've been making a lot of videos on software. I haven't done anything on hardware, but that's going to be coming up soon. But for now, I want to go over the operating system, Windows 7 and Windows 10. So, this is more of a in-depth video on um, how to troubleshoot a computer if it's software or if or if it's hardware so we're gonna do some we're gonna go over um, f8 today which has like these options the advanced options on windows 7 f8 has the same options on windows 10 as well or you could just reset your pc using the recovery options i made in my other video but this is more important about troubleshooting and how to fix the problem and how to eliminate the problem to see if it's software or hardware so um, without further ado, I'm going to go over this. So if you see right here, right now on my screen, I have Windows 7 up. So well, the first thing you want to do is, if you want to go into Advanced Boot Options or the Advanced re like Repair Options, you just press F8. You spam F8 while the computer is booting up. You you spam F8, and then they have the options to go into Safe Mode, Safe with no Safe Mode with Networking, Safe Mode with Command Prompt, Enable Boot Logging, Enable Low uh, Low Resolution Video. Last known good configuration, directory service restore mode, debugging mode, disable automatic restart and system failure, and disable driver signature enforcement, or start Windows normally, or repair your computer. So, I just want to go over this. I want to go over these things one by one. So we're gonna go over repair your computer first, and um, let's get it on the way. So when you do that, it's gonna it's gonna give you all these options you could do on your computer. Um, some of the stuff I went over already, but it's good to know. So you have to be an administrator, obviously, to log into this. I don't have a password. So you do start a repair, which prevents your computer from running. Um, so if you have issues with your operating system and it's not running and it's not booting up properly, you do start up repair. System restore would be more like going into an earlier day or earlier time of a month or a day that that um, that basically... Basically, if like for example, like your computer's not working today, your computer's messed up today. Maybe you made a change or something, or maybe something happened to your computer, but it worked a couple of days ago. You could go back to that restoration point and actually restore that restore that point and, and use that one before. Um, I'll show you what it is. So you hit system restore, you hit next, um, and then you hit show more restoration points. And mine doesn't have any, but it goes. It only goes up to the twelve. It doesn't so. Basically, you can go back in time before any of the changes have been made on your computer. This doesn't affect your software files or applications. Um, it just goes back in time, basically. It doesn't affect any of your any of your files, but it does go back in time. And that basically that's basically an ideal way to repair a computer if it's having issues in that day or the, or the day that you're working on it. You can go back in time using System Restore. So I'm gonna get out of this. I'm gonna hit Cancel, and then System Image Recovery. It's uh, using a CD to go back to uh, uh, using a CD that has an image and basically you use the CD and you can go back to another restoration point. Uh, Windows Memory Diagnostic is just to check your memory on your computer. Maybe you have a computer that keeps beeping and then you go into this and you can see what, what, what error messages you get. And then the command prompt as well, which is kind of cool. What will you do in a command prompt? I'll tell you right now. If it was me and I'm having an issue with a hard drive, I would do FFC. And I would do scan now, and this fixes the the sectors of the hard drive, um, and that would fix any of your problems with your hard drive if you're having issues booting up or getting into your computer. Another thing you could do here in in um, the command prompt, you could actually you could actually do cd, and then you could do you could direct certain files and move certain things into your you know your computer. You could do check disk as well. Um, you could do a couple other other commands that that might might be might work in your favor. So you're trying to fix a computer, but most commonly one would be FFC scan. Now that would, that would normally fix all your your computer. Maybe you have a bad sector, or maybe you have a like a weird hard drive hard drive error message, or maybe you have a blue screen of death. FFC usually scan now fixes that problem. Um, let me just restart this. I'll show you all the other ones you could do. So. There's safe mode, safe mode with networking, safe mode with command prompt. So, this is how you, this is how I will look at it, like analytically thinking how to troubleshoot something. So, if you start Windows normally, right, and it works fine, there's nothing wrong with the computer. Okay, that's that's good. But if you start Windows normally and it doesn't work fine, 
Then you press F8 and you want to do you want to do uh, start Windows in safe mode. And if it boots up in safe mode, but it doesn't boot up in Windows normally, that means there's something that recently changed on the computer. Maybe a software, maybe a Windows update, maybe an application you installed, maybe something someone installed something. So that you know there's something wrong with the software. Something software related happened to the computer. So if you open to safe mode and it works fine and there's something wrong with the, the software, it, maybe you have to roll back your application or something like that and remove it or uninstall it. Um, I will do safe mode with networking. Not really. Like it, like if this one doesn't work, then the other ones are not going to work. But safe mode with command prompt, I would do that one only if you're trying to do like FFC scan now and repair your computer. I would run that. Or if you're trying to repair a bad sector or... You're just in general, you're trying to remove applications. You should be able to do it with with safe mode command prompt. Um, enable boot logging. I don't really use that. Uh, low resolution. I don't, don't, don't really. This one is good. Last, last no good configuration. So if you start Windows normally and it doesn't work, you could do last known good configuration. And I'll go to basically it'll, it'll pick the last time it actually worked. The operating system worked. So that would fix all your problems basically. Um, Directory service restore mode. I'm going to use debugging mode. I'm going to use that. Disable automatic restart. So this this one here, disable automatic restart on system failure. I would only do this one is if you start Windows normally and your computer blue screens to death like crazy. Uh, I will hit disable automatic restart. Press F8. Hit disable automatic restart on system failure, and then I would just jot down the the error code of the blue screen, and then based on that, I would figure out what's wrong with the computer, and then try to fix it after that. So that would only be used if, if you have a blue screen of death or something like that, then I would definitely use that. And this is how you would do a process of elimination. So um, if you have like a new hardware on your computer and the computer is not working like it was like it was working before, take out that take out that graphics card. Maybe if you added memory, maybe the memory is corrupted. Maybe the memory has a bad memory leak, or maybe that memory is incompatible with your computer or something like that. Something something weird is happening. So if you know it's hardware related and you change, take out the hardware, if it's software related and you can't start Windows normally and you can start in safe mode, then obviously something something has recently changed. So you could do go into system restore, restore a different day, go back to restoration point. Um, you could do repair your computer like I, the one I showed you at the beginning, or you could do last known configuration. If those things work, then you know how it was before. There was something software related that messed it up. So. These are the these are the common things I would do to troubleshoot a computer, um, and that that would that would basically fix any of your problems if you of your operating system Windows Seven or Windows Ten. Another another thing you might want to do is you type ms config, right? Say for example you type ms config and you you can't get into um, you can't get into your your computer. Uh, safe mode, you can't get into safe mode, just keeps bypassing safe mode. You just type ms config and then do do um safe mode and then hit apply, hit ok, hit restart. And then, when you hit restart, it should go into safe mode, it shouldn't go into the login screen. So, I'll go straight to safe mode. kind of cool so if you don't want to if you don't want to waste your time and, and actually just go straight into safe mode you could do it you could do it by typing ms config and actually going into safe mode um, I'm just gonna uncheck that you see that when you do that do that hit ok then I'm gonna restart one more time and it should go back to Windows 7 the regular Windows 7 not the safe mode Windows 7 so so these are like little things you could do to troubleshoot your computer if you're having a software issue like about seventy five percent of the problems that I see with 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 applications or um just in general computer stuff is usually software related it's not hardware related doesn't really I don't really see that a lot in my job maybe once in a while you'll have a bad hard drive or a bad computer or, or maybe you need more memory or or the memory is going bad or the graphics card is going bad it's really rare that you see those things sometimes it's not even it's not even a bad computer. It's not even a bad hardware. Sometimes it's just the driver itself. It's causing the problem of that computer. So you got to look at those things. And that's basically troubleshooting 101. So you troubleshooting 101. Um, same with a laptop. Like I'll give you an example with a laptop. So if you, if you have a laptop 
You want to know if the battery is bad on the laptop? You put the battery in and it says it's not charging. Then you know the battery is bad. But if you want to test this theory out, if you take the battery out and um, you plug in the laptop to the battery directly, basically, and it powers on and then you know that there's something going on with that battery. You put the battery back in and it still says not charging and the battery is bad and you got to change the battery. In some cases... Replacing the battery will fix that problem, and then sometimes the, maybe the charging port of the spot that you're plugging in is messed up, or maybe just the motherboard is gonna it's going bad. You know, it could be a lot of things. But that that's basically you're just doing troubleshooting one on one. So this is how you would troubleshoot. Uh, I, I guess the operating system. If you're having software related issues, this is how you go back in time. You will op try to open in safe mode. You do last known good configuration. You do system restore. If you have an image somewhere of, 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 a, of a copy of a CD of it, put it back, put the image back, rebuild it again, and these are like the little things you would, little steps you would do to troubleshoot your 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 computer issues and your computer related issues, and and it would be the same on on uh, on Windows 10 except it's a little except you know it's it, it looks a little different, but it's the same thing, and then you could reset your PC, you could do advanced startup. Now on these on these modern computers like the like. Not like a computer, like this computer I have here, I just put Windows 7, Windows uh, 10 on it. But on the modern computers, like your desktop you buy from like Lenovo, or Acer, or HP, or Dell, they have something called Recovery Assistance, and basically what it does is it's, it's uh, um, it has, it, it has the local C drive or the hard drive. It will have, it will have a, a, an, this, the hard drive we partition, it will be separated into two, it will say, one will say Recovery, and then one would say the local C drive. In recovery one, you can't delete or do anything. And that basically what it does is, is that if your computer ever goes bad, you go back to how it was when you first got your computer using the recovery drive of the computer. So that, that that's the, they built all these things on your computer. So you could do it yourself now. Nowadays, you could fix your own computer. You don't even need to call a PC technician guy. So that's one of the reasons why people say that that um, there's the argument that, that PC technicians are no longer needed. Um... And I kind of argue with it, and I say that they, they are needed, but not as much, but they are needed because there are people that are not tech savvy. They didn't, they know nothing about computers. So you call these technicians, they come in, and they do all this all this stuff for you, and they fix your computer. So that they're, you're always going to have people that don't know anything about technology. They only know how to do their work, but they don't know how to actually fix the application that they're doing or that they're trying to you know open or deal with. Or they don't... They only know how to do the 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 work on the application, but they don't know how to actually fix it if it ever goes bad for them. So, so they make an argument about that as well. But, but that's about it. That's what I, I could vent all about PC technician. I could talk about desktop support and all this other stuff. But uh, uh, maybe I'll say that for another video. So, um, with that being said, uh, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. Subscribe. I greatly appreciate when you guys subscribe. I I know. Um, I know I've been making like these, I guess these beginner level videos. It's it's more for the people that don't know anything about IT. So this is why I make these videos. Um, I I will make more advanced videos coming soon, like the bios. I'm gonna go over bios. I'm gonna go over a couple other things. Like I'm gonna make some server videos as well. But I, I'm not get, I'm not gonna get into that just just yet. But I'm I'm making videos to teach everyone, even people that don't know anything about IT. Okay. Hope everyone has a great day, and um, take care, and um, happy Wednesday.